A very special guest uh, back with us now, Sydney Carla from um, a company called Baby Purity. And Sydney, very interesting way how this all got started with you and your brand new baby. Sure, yes. Well, um, about four years ago, my, my oldest, Jessica Ray, had eczema. And um, I was quite concerned about that, so I went to a dermatologist pediatrician and uh, found out that she should probably put a steroid cream on it. And I was a little bit concerned about that after I Googled and found out what that was all about. And I thought, I don't know if I want to do that. And uh, I went to some more doctors and they said, don't worry about it, Sydney. So many kids get eczema or cradle cap and, and she'll outgrow it. And I thought, why is this? Mm -hmm. Why is it that so many babies now have eczema and have cradle cap? And um, so I ended up seeing a naturopath and changed my diet. So I ended up uh, getting rid of wheat and, and dairy. And uh, it ended up clearing up. And so she doesn't have eczema anymore. And uh, my second daughter hasn't had eczema either. Mm. And so I've realized from that point that uh, the word needs to get out there. And there is alternatives. And I want to make sure that women know that um, they can have alternative treatments. Well, we're certainly hearing a lot right now about uh, this bisphenol A in bottles, uh, mm -hmm. lead in children's toys. There's been recall after recall. Mm -hmm. um, so what, uh, as a mom, I mean, you've done a really amazing thing here. Just as you're not associated with any business, you're just a mom of two little girls and decided to put on a conference this weekend to get the word out and help other moms. Yeah, exactly. So because of, um, like you're saying, this overwhelming, I mean, bisphenol A was just banned, which is excellent that Canada's gone ahead and done that and made quite a stance throughout the world. Um, but we just had also the melamine in the formula. Mm -hmm. um, a year ago, there was lead in the toys. And so a lot of women, I find especially new moms or pregnant mothers, are overwhelmed with this news and wondering, how does this affect my child? And so this conference has got tons of experts from Environmental Working Group, um, Healthy Child, Healthy World. We have doctors speaking, all to kind of tell you what are the real issues, mm -hmm. what should we be concerned about, and what can you do in your home to uh, make some safe alternatives. And there'll also be some, some vendors there who have ideas of what their products are and, and yeah. how they're safe and things like that. Yeah, exactly. So we're going to have a bag like this that's going to be full of great products. So lots of natural organic products. So we have diapers and and uh, bo diff great bottles, not the bisphenol A bottles, and laundry detergent and just tons of great stuff, as well as free advice. I mean, there's going to be natural paths there and doctors there that you can say, okay, what are some alternative treatments mm -hmm. or maybe some things you're hesitant about and you didn't want to see a naturopath well now you can you can get some advice okay right. so it's happening this weekend at the Sheraton Wall Center yeah so it's this Saturday um, yeah nine to five so please sign up at babypurity.com or you can phone us and uh, also invite you know grandmothers I think it's an excellent opportunity for a mom to go with the mom so uh, you know, you understand the whole community of what's going on out there. It sounds great. And we have a bag uh, that um, Sydney's brought in to give away. So if you are interested in picking up a bag, you can't make it to the conference this weekend, so then you can give us a call here on our uh, news line, and we will uh, get that bag to you. Thanks. Yeah, congratulations thank you. to you. Thanks yeah, very much. Nice Thanks for Thanks having me on. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Thanks very much. Excellent stuff. Uh, pretty good day today. You're good